Imagine you had access to a crystal ball that could show you exactly what's selling well on Amazon, not just the surface level bestsellers, but a deep behind the scenes data scan of pretty much everything. Imagine seeing the top products within any category or the top keywords that your competitors are quietly ranking for while you're unaware, their sales volume, their pricing trends, and even which keywords are undervalued and ripe for Amazon PPC campaigns if you decide to run them. For any serious seller, that kind of insight, regardless of if you're drop shipping, doing online arbitrage, private label, wholesale, whatever, would be a game changer. And that is exactly why I've been using this tool for the last three years for my drop shipping business, for online arbitrage, as well as wholesale drop shipping as well. It's a powerful tool that's designed to help sellers succeed on Amazon by essentially giving them more information and data to make smarter, data-driven decisions so they're not guessing. Whether you're just starting out, or you've been selling for years, and whether your focus is retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, wholesale, private label, drop shipping, you name it, Seller Sprite is built to support and enhance your strategy and get you more sales. It is not just another product research tool, it is a complete ecosystem of insights and optimization. So when you first log in, there's gonna be a number of different things on this platform. You're greeted with a wide range of tools from product research to keyword analysis to competitor tracking, market insights, listing optimization tools, you name it, there's a ton, right? Even on listings, as you can see, like if we search for something right here, I'm gonna show you this here in a second, you have all the information about a specific keyword or a specific category, right? The sales, any insights, whether there's TikTok influencers on there, whether you wanna analyze that or go keyword mining to see what a better keyword is for the specific thing, right? Whether you're on an actual listing here and you want to see a Keepa chart of this listing, whether you want to see the sales of this listing, whether you want to run it through a profit calculator, whether you want to check the brand, whether you want to reverse source this as you come up here to on 1688 or wherever, they have literally thought of everything and put it in one software to spoon feed you, right? Now, each one of these is built to provide with specific actionable information depending on what your goal is. But as you can see, there are a ton of use cases for this. I'm gonna run you through some examples here in a second once we go through the demo. But the product research tool, for example, is gonna allow you to explore high-performing listings with real-time sales data, which is gonna help you identify items worth adding to your store or your brand, right? Doesn't matter if you're selling drop shipping products or private label when you're launching a brand entirely, right? You can filter by category by price range, by bestseller, and more. You can customize it to search and fit your business model specifically. Now, if you're running Amazon PPC, the keyword research tool alone is worth a subscription, but it doesn't just spit out generic keyword suggestions. It gives you data, detailed keyword level performance, historical trends, cost per click ranges, and ranking difficulty so you can make smarter decisions and make sure that the keywords you're going after are actually worth it and profitable. You're gonna know when to bid and where you could squeeze more ROI out of your ad spend. It goes on and on, it is invaluable. I've used this tool to uncover hidden keyword opportunities that cost significantly less than the ones that everybody else is chasing, which allows me to generate more sales and a much higher profit margin, again, whether you're running ads to your private label products or even wholesale dropshipping products, which as you scale, aren't necessary, but they can certainly help. Now, another standout feature is the competitor analysis tool. And this is gonna be something that I'm gonna show you heavily in this demo. It's my favorite tool here. And there's a number, obviously the Keepa thing is uh, the Keepa chart that's built in is incredibly valuable the FBA calculator, the AI analysis tool about reviews. So again, if you're on a listing right here and you see all these different little buttons, you could check the brand to see if there's any IP claims against that brand, which is invaluable, but you could also generate an AI analysis report of the actual reviews on this listing. So it will build you a strategy on what you could do if you wanted to launch a product like this, or even if you were gonna drop ship this on TikTok shop, for example, it will literally tell you what, people are saying good about this. So you could obviously focus on that in the copy or in your script or your messaging, but also where people are saying you can improve upon based on an AI analysis of the actual reviews on that product, which is again, invaluable because then you could take that information and improve it and focus on why your product is differentiated and actually solves that problem. And you didn't have to spend hours or days 
going through all the reviews manually yourself and figuring out those things for yourself, the AI will do it all for you instantly. Now with the competitor analysis tool, you can reverse engineer your competitor's strategies. Like I said, I'm gonna show you that here in a second. You can see what products they're selling, what products they're selling the best, which is the most important thing, right? We don't want their hundredth best selling product. We want their first, their second, their third, higher sales for us. We cut off the head of the snake and we essentially take a portion of their sales and a piece of that pie. It's the hack of hacks for Amazon sellers. You can see what products they're selling, what's driving their traffic, how their pricing has changed over time, what keywords they're actively ranking for. And this is especially helpful if you're in a crowded niche and you want an edge. But I personally use this tool, like I said, to track top performing sellers in my space and identify high velocity products that you can jump on, especially for drop shipping. Now, what really sets seller sprite apart though, is it's 360 degree view of the entire marketplace, right? So you're not just looking at isolated data points or like a snapshot of like Jungle Scout's best seller rank in that specific moment. No, you're seeing how it all connects. You're not just looking at these isolated data points. You can track changes in bestseller rank, price, review rating, and estimated sales volume across a number of different timeframes, seven days, 30 days, 90 days, or even longer, right? This is gonna allow you to spot trends, seasonal patterns, best-selling products, fading fads so you avoid them and you don't waste time on products that are losing traction. The list goes on and on. It's also invaluable for private label sellers, but I've talked about that in depth in another video on why you can use it for market trends, Amazon PPC, keyword analysis, or even the review tool with AI like I just talked about, right? But even better, if you don't wanna be in the dashboard all the time, so you can see if you log into Seller Sprite from the dashboard, it's got all the different tools here for you. You got competitor research with, again, the AI component in there and kind of giving you spoon-fed information on what that competitor is selling the best, why you should go after those different products, and what, what, what basically the best opportunity is there. Again, product research with AI, it's gonna spoon-feed you all that analysis. Category insights, you've got the Keep a Chart here, you got the Keyword Explorer, design patents, right? Whether or not there's an actual patent on that product, that's invaluable too. Keyword mining, listing builders, a sales estimator for specific ASINs, a reversation feature. They have literally thought of it all. That's all here in the dashboard and you could do it all within the dashboard, but I personally like their extension the best. So once you actually sign up for uh, Seller Sprite, you could download the extension for Firefox or I like obviously Google Chrome. It's gonna look like this little S in the corner here. And then when you're on listings or you're on an actual Amazon search page, it's gonna give you all those buttons, as you can see, that have those different features, but also all the keyword analysis, all the uh, different functions. So like the calculator, the sales, and again, I'm gonna show you that here in a second, right? So you don't have to be in the dashboard all the time with this. Once you download the actual extension and sign up, if you do wanna test out Seller Sprite, you can completely free through the link in the description below. I've been using this tool for three years now. This is like probably the 10th video I've created on this. I absolutely love it for a number of different business models. It is my favorite Amazon tool, but I love that they have the built-in extension, not just from the dashboard side. So you can see all this information without ever leaving the product detail page or the Amazon search page. It spoon feeds it to you via the actual extension, right? This has made my workflow way more efficient because I can now validate product opportunities while browsing Amazon as usual, right? I don't need to go back to the actual dashboard. So here is a quick real world example of how I personally use Seller Sprite. I regularly use this to look up large retail exclusive brands like Mainstays or Cobalt or a number of others so that I can find other brands that are selling these on the actual platform. And I know that once I see this, I know that there's a high chance it's a drop shipper on that listing. And then from there, I can use Seller Sprite's tool to reverse check that competitor find their best-selling product and steal a portion of their sales all without much energy or effort on my end because Seller Sprite is doing all the work for me. So here's a quick example of how I personally use Seller Sprite. I regularly look up large retail products from brands like Mainstays, for example, because I know that if I could find these products on Walmart, there's a high likelihood that it is a drop shipper selling this product because they are not Amazon brands, right? They're, they're brands that are specific to other websites. So in this case, it's Mainstays, which is a Walmart specific brand, right? So if we search Mainstays and we come down and we look for a product that isn't prime, that's gonna basically speak to us that there's a high likelihood that it is either a drop shipper, which is very, very likely, or somebody reselling this product as secondhand as used like new or used. There's a high likelihood that it is gonna be a drop shipper, or at least there's one or two drop shippers on that listing, which we can then, again, not just necessarily find this product, but also 
reverse snipe their actual best sellers and find those. That's what we really want, right? Let's find a mainstays product that isn't prime. This towel set right here, this set of four, again, not prime. You've got 11 sellers on this listing. So there's high likelihood this is a dropship product from Walmart, like I said. So let's search it. Let's go to Google. I bet you it pops up as a Walmart listing. There it is literally right there. It's on Amazon, which is the, the one that we just looked at for 12 bucks. It's on Walmart, that same four pack for 536. Boom, right there. If you were buying this for 536 on, this is not what we're doing right now, but I just wanna show you as an example. If you're buying this on uh, Walmart for 536, if we run it through the profit calculator using seller sprite, which is this little extension right here, the calculator, the listing price is 12. The shipping cost to Amazon, if we're drop shipping is gonna be zero, or if it's online arbitrage, maybe it's a buck. The purchasing cost, I believe was 536. Assuming you are tax exempt, you won't have to pay taxes. And so you can put those numbers in the calculator and obviously see if you're profitable, which in this case, you would not be purchasing it for 534 or 536 on Walmart, right? That is not necessarily what we're doing. I just wanted to show you that this is obviously a product that's being drop shipped from Walmart, obviously not profitably, unless these people had like gift cards or there's other ways to obviously go about it. But what we really want is the other sellers on this actual listing, right? So I'm going to reverse snipe some of the top sellers on this listing and find their best selling products. But before I do that, I do want to touch on one other really cool feature about this. There are a ton, as you can see, like all these different buttons here. You got a number of different, you got the brand checker, you download the reviews. You can run the AI review analysis. You can search this product on 1688, on AliExpress, on Alibaba. You can find a TikTok influencer for this product. But if you click on the button that says historical trends, that is a built-in Keepa chart. So you don't have to subscribe to Keepa, right? That is a game changer because not only can you look at the monthly sales here, you can look at the, the BSR. So it's not just a snapshot in time. You can look at how it's affected and changed over time, right? So obviously it was, it was okay in the past. It was a little bit high at like, 3 million since about 2020 right here it's really shot down and been low and been a decent product you could also look at the ratings and the price fluctuation history there which is a game changer you can look at the daily units sold which i absolutely love you can look at the monthly sales see how it's gone up or down over time and you can look at the ratings to make sure that the ratings are climbing consistently which as you can see here they are that is also an indicator of a product that's selling consistently, right? So that historical trends button is a game changer. It is literally a built-in keep a chart that in my opinion is better because it gives you more functionality over time. And it comes for completely free in this software already. But let me show you how to reverse snipe one of these sellers. So let's go to the other sellers on this listing since we know a lot of them are probably drop shippers. We don't wanna go after the person with 18 ratings because they're obviously not very experienced, but this person has 761. So let's just open them up. This person has 1,298. You can see the person right here that is selling it for cheap, like 12 bucks, 1140. They're probably not making money. Hence why everybody else is up here at like 1399, 14 bucks, 15 bucks, right? The Mulberry shop, they look like a, an online arbitrage seller because they're selling prime. So let's look at this person right here with almost 1300 rating. So we want to take their store name and we're going to take it back into seller sprite. We're going to go to tools and we're going to go to competitor research. And now we just put the seller in here and we search and it's gonna pop up with all their best-selling products by sales. And it looks like their best-selling product right here is these double pack of cotton swabs and then the kitchen towels. So that is how you find hot selling products from other sellers. You don't just want their best-selling product, you want their top 10 best-selling products, right? You don't just want their, their 100th best-selling product, you want their top best-selling product. Because what we used to have to do before there was a software like this is you used to have to go to their storefront right here and manually sort through every one of their products to find which one. Like literally reverse search them, try to find which ones were selling the best. That took so much time. But you don't have to do that anymore because Seller Sprite will literally do it for you instantly like I just showed you. Let's go to that other best-selling store right here with like 4,000, uh, 4,600 ratings. So the Mulberry Shop, again, you just copy their store name, take it into, again, that would be under Tools, Competitor Research, just paste the store name in there. It's gonna pull up all their products instantly with all the information. And again, we're gonna sort it for sales. And as you can see, they have this one right here that's selling a ton. So they have this Bigelow uh, Darjing, whatever that is, it looks like a tea. They have dishwasher pods. And so this is giving you all their best-selling products. And then you could reverse engineer where to actually source them, whether you're doing online arbitrage, or uh, drop shipping. And because they're selling a ton of these and they're their best selling products, I would bet you that you could probably find these on either wholesale websites if they're wholesale drop shipping, on retail websites if they're retail drop shipping, or obviously on popular retail websites if they're doing online arbitrage, right? So using a tool like this is an absolute game changer. It makes it so simple and spoon feeds you all the best information, but also all the best products like I just showed you, not slowly, 
like that. And that is really the beauty of this software. Whether you're trying to build a long-term brand or you're just looking to snipe quick wins like I just showed you, Seller Sprite helps you take the guesswork out of Amazon selling. It is about making strategic decisions backed by real data that's gonna give you a measurable advantage over everybody else, right? And in a marketplace that's as fast paced and competitive as Amazon, tools like Seller Sprite don't just give you the edge, they give you clarity and a massive advantage. They give you clarity on what's working, clarity on what's worth pursuing, and clarity on how to scale efficiently regardless of your business model. So if you're serious about growing your Amazon business, I've been using this tool for the last three years and I absolutely love it. I will link it in the description below at a massive discount. You could also try it completely free. I really hope it helps. This is just what works for me, so I really hope it helps you too.